officially springtime and the world famous Octagon is at home in Las Vegas for the next couple of weeks. We are live from the UFC Apex for UFC Fight Night, Allen versus Curtis 2. Good evening, fight fans, and welcome to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Feel good? Ready, ready to. Ready to get this money. Let's get this Charlie, the cannibal Campbell representing Law MMA, Long Island, New York. Let's go, Charlie, let's go, baby. Those kicks are nice, though, for Charlie Campbell. Great job. Little days right now. Oh, big right hand. Oh, nice oh, right. Yeah. And again. Hey, you're too fast for him, Charlie. Too fast for him, Charlie. Nice, nice. Good thing. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Get up. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, Charlie. Proud, man. That was a dog performance, man. He dogged that out. So far, fire the night by far. Trevor Pete like always brings it. Charlie Campbell. I mean, well, that man has got so right. much potential. Well, and I think everyone else in here agrees, right? That fight well, was ridiculous. Fight. Excuse me, I gotta get back to work. Hey, oh, no. this is gonna be a good fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm here at the UFC Apex, watching some great fights. I'm here for Chepe Mariscal, who's 2 0 in the UFC. And the only reason we pursued this career is because we're such big fans of fighting, so why not come on some fights? Come on, good position. Control range. Chepe, machine gun, Mariscal. Morgan, the last pirate, Chariot. Control range. Me! Nice. Keep his feet moving. Beautiful. Yes! Yes! Back up! He's working! Let's go strike! He's a dog. Um, it's good to see, you know, good to see if a teammate come out with the W. Good win. Dangerous fight. Good win. It's main event time. Big rankings at stake here in the middleweight division. More kicks right there. Fantastic fight between two tremendous fighters. I'm proud of both of them. I'm happy for the show that they just put on, and that's what it is. Okay? Yeah, just play with that. Hoje é sparring, kickboxing, e vamos aí, né? Hoje vocês vão ver ali, ele está fazendo pô, os adultos, né? mas tem, tem a molecada assim, mais, mais jovem também, mas eles são os mais novos. Eu estou todo dia com eles, então é difícil a gente perceber né, esse crescimento, mas... Poder você ver ele agora, volta aqui 4, 5, 6 meses, pô, você já viu uma grande diferença. Os moleques estão, pô, estão esticando. Quatro anos, os caras são os mesmos que eu, né? Watching os filhos aqui. E todo mundo ama isso, todo mundo ama isso. É uma paixão, é uma coisa. The fans, but it's a family, you know? The Ohana family, we call it the pit. It's like that. It's a great vibe. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Let's get this vibe. All right. Mr. Buff, introduce Alex Pereira for the UFC 300. Can you do that? Oh, man. Come on, Bruce. The reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light 
heavyweight champion in the world, Alex Watson! I mean, definitely 12 months ago, I did not see this happening, but there's been a lot of winding and twists and turns along the path. This was the moment, this was the time. Um, it's now or never. It's a big risk, but I like big risks. I'm all in, you know, I'm all in. Polly is, you know, she's a beast, man. She's a time battle tested, you know, true champion in my, in my book. She's probably the toughest test in the division, I would say, for me. I'm very excited for this opportunity. Uh, I think that it's gonna be a great fight, and I look forward to seeing who is able to implement their game plan, you know? That's, that's what it's all about. We're at Rec Hall at the uh, Penn State Wrestling Facility, and this will be my last workout of camp. I feel a lot of support from these guys when I go to fight, and it's the same when they compete, you know. So the week after I fight, a lot of these guys will be competing in the Olympic trials here actually in State College. So, you know, as soon as I'm done, I'll be back here and helping them prepare for their competition. Being at UFC 300, it does feel extra special. You know, it's a big event. I'm grateful that, you know, I'm on the main card and I'm going to be able to perform in front of a big crowd and uh, you know, that's always fun for me. And every competition, every time I get to compete, it's special, but this is even more special. Pressure's on. People expect me to go out there and dominate, and for me, you know, I already expect that out of myself, so that's what I'm gonna go do. Well, I've been playing golf with my dad, started early. Just always, always been a fun game for me, so it's super challenging. Very much a mental game, so just haven't figured that part out yet. Oh, Working out every evening, sitting around the house, you know, thinking about what's coming up. Can't let him get too up on us, Ben. I just recover with this right here. Trying to uh, not make it too much and not get too caught up in the moment and just get out here and kind of. Get relaxed. First par. I hit it soft. So this guy, my son over here. Wait till the after effect. Come on, you got dude, this. Put on this spot, dude. Nice and you. easy. Let that freaking nice club do the work. Oh, stupid. I think I'm good at this game, but I'm not. I play a lot. Every time I play, I'm usually shooting way over than. I did last time, so it's no progress, but it's a fun game. Damn. Definitely what? pisses you off, though. Guys, suck. Like, does it open up over there? What are you doing? Stupid game. Today is it's Sunday. Sunday is Mexican food. The man I cooked today for for my team. My team stay here. I'm so happy for for the guys that are supporting me in the in the camp. Uh, yeah, bro. I'm happy. Finally, tomorrow we will be at Fight Week. We prepare. We've been working so hard all this fight camp for Diego, and I mean, uh, we're just happy to be here to share moments together before like the war. Mm. We've definitely done our homework, um, like we would anybody else. But Max, he's a striker among strikers. He's very accurate, he's very intelligent. There's a reason why he has the most strikes landed here in the UFC. What he does, he does with purpose. You know, all the work's been done already, so just staying sharp, making sure his, uh, his body's moving well until fight time, you know what I mean? I'm fighting a BMF. 
we on the card, we'd, we'd be a mess of the card, you know? If, if I chose not to do it, it that's, that doesn't sound really BMF for me, right? So we really wanted to focus on our speed and make sure that we bring our speed from 45 up to 55. We get to see how well it works come Saturday, so, you know, you just gotta get it done. There's flowers all over this place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this little guy. We're in the Valley of Fire, stole a car, and came, came out to the middle of nowhere to get some peace and quiet. Quiet the mind, feed the soul. I feel like I used to fight, probably a very, like, from a place of fear, and now I fight very much from a place of love and, like, joy. Um, I just truly feel like this is my purpose in life. It's important to stay grounded and, and stay like rooted in truth, and this does that for me. I want to be UFC champion pretty much more than anything. Like that's, that's what I want. And I'll be okay no matter what. I'm just, I'm feeling good. One step closer to making my dreams come true.